I see rocks, sand, a road. What are we looking for exactly? No idea. Heatwave said we'd know when we saw it and use our best judgment to act accordingly. Mystery simulations are my least favorite lessons. You could always just sit it out, like Hoist. Come on, I'm doing some really important research. This is a dragon! I've never even heard of one before, but they sound seriously dangerous. I circled the area 17 times. That's when I figured it out. Maybe what we're looking for is invisible. Oh, then how will we know when we're done with it? A speeding car. That's gotta be it. And our job must be to stop it. We can force the car toward that canyon over there. Hoist and I will be ready and waiting. Wait, what? That canyon's miles away. How are we gonna get there in time? Oh! Rescue by recruits, roll out! We'll create a roadblock at the far end of the canyon. The driver will see us and have to stop the car. Uh-huh. You know they breathe fire? Cars breathe fire? No. Dragons. Oh, okay. Maybe I should run that whole plan by you again. Yes! It's working! And don't even think about doing a U-turn, buddy. Okay, Hoist. Get ready. Here they come. You block the other half of the canyon. Amazing! They can fly, too! Voice! The car won't stop if it sees a way past us! Uh, sorry! I'll stop it! Uh, oops. Hmm. This car certainly won't be driving at excessive speeds in the near future. Yeah! Nice catch, Hoist! Heatwave will be so impressed. Oh, dear. I'm a doctor, and I'm racing to the hospital because I'm the only one in the world who can perform life-saving surgery. Uh-oh. So, not only did you stop the doctor from reaching the hospital, you also destroyed his car. He was driving really fast. Did you ever stop to wonder why? The point of this sim is to help you learn that things aren't always what they seem, or as humans say, don't judge a book by its cover. What if the book doesn't have a cover? <sighs> the point of the lesson is that things may not always be as they seem. Whoa! Thank you, Hoist. I agree. It's an important lesson for you to learn. No, I mean, whoa, these dragons are a serious threat! We should be training to deal with them, not reading books on judges, or whatever today's lesson was. It was don't judge a book by its cover. How big is that dragon? This one is huge. It seems to have a forked tongue. Fascinating. It sleeps on a bed of gold and treasure. How is that comfortable? Recruits! Dragons almost certainly never existed and are not important. This lesson, on the other hand... I don't know, Chief. These things look pretty dangerous. We should run some simulations for dealing with them, just in case. Hmm. If that's the only way to keep your attention on the lesson. This one's red, but they can be silver or green or lots of colors. Wait, what's happening? Where are we? Must be Hoist's book, because that's a dragon. It's attacking, quick, everyone into the castle. This is more like it, training to deal with dragons. This way. My band of metal knights shall be safe with him. Thou art in no danger inside the castle walls, my friends. But a great tragedy may still befall us. Our king is due to arrive anon. And if he is caught on the road by that dragon, I dread to think what shall come to pass. I've read stories like this. Our mission must be to get rid of the dragon before it toasts the king. Leave that to me. I'll get the dragon to chase me and lead it away from the road. It's almost too easy. Odd. Whenever he says that, it seems things only get worse. Hey, Smoke Snout, over here. Think you're hot stuff? Bet you can't catch me. He's right behind me! Go, go, go! Oh, guess
guess it didn't take the bait. Let me try. I'll get its attention. Sorry! My fault. Whoops! I did it again! I guess you're going to want to chase me now, right? Yeah, I thought so. guys that dragon just doesn't want to play whatever thy noble band hath planned please do it fast the hour of the king's arrival is nigh upon us are you thinking what i'm thinking yeah i love the way he talks yeah no i mean this could be really bad dragons are famous for eating royalty well if it doesn't want to move by itself we'll just have to make it move hoist i'll need your help Ready? Would it matter if I said no? Great, let's do it. I didn't think so. Hey, hey, I caught a dragon! Oh, I caught a dragon! Grab on! It's working! Quick, anchor the line! So, why isn't the simulation stopping? Hey, Heat Wave, we're finished! We moved the dragon! Strange. The simulation should end when the mission is complete. I guess moving the dragon wasn't the mission. And it looks like we're stuck here until we find out what we're supposed to do. Another mystery simulation. Oh, joy. We have to be missing something. Yeah. What was it Heat Wave said? Stop playing cube when you should be studying. No, I mean today. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover. But what's that have to do with any of this? You haven't looked at your book since you got here. Perhaps Heat Wave's lesson is about judging things based on their appearances and being wrong. Right, like we saw a dragon and we thought it was a threat because it looked scary. But the dragon hasn't actually attacked any of us. Right! It just keeps blowing fire on the same spot. The only time it came close to burning us was when we were there, too. Huh. Well, now that you mention it, the dragon does seem like it wants to get back there really bad. Then maybe we should take a closer look at that spot and find out why. And here we go again. No idea what we're looking for or where to find it. Hey, guys, look at this. <gasps> the dragon must have eaten the king. Wait, don't judge a book by its cover. This dragon hasn't tried to eat anyone yet. Why start now? And I'm fairly certain that this looks like an accident. We need to investigate further. Uh... Now, Hotshot, just be patient. Uh, I'm not thrilled about long investigations, but that wasn't me. Uh... It's coming from over there. It's the king! Thank goodness you brave metal knights found me. The dragon did its best to keep me warm on this freezing mountainside, but I don't think I could have survived much longer without its help. The dragon was helping you? I didn't see that coming. The dragon was trying to protect the king all along. It was never a threat. We just thought it was. Don't judge a book by its cover, indeed. Sorry for thinking you were a bad guy, dragon. Yeah, we should have tried to understand what you were doing, instead of just assuming we knew. We'll be more careful next time. Thank you, my fire-breathing friend. And thank you, heroes of the future. Farewell. Wow. <gasps> Do you think the Academy would let us have a pet dragon? No, it would not. I see you recruits have finally learned today's lesson. Whoa! I'm glad the lesson has had such an impact on you, Hoist. No, I mean, wow, look at these monsters! I thought dragons were a threat, but have you heard of ogres? These things are seriously dangerous! Look! Disconcerting! Whoa. Look at those teeth! Ah! <sighs> Guess what?
What? We've got a new teacher joining the academy. How amazing is that? So amazing, right? Whoa, that is big news. Who's our new teacher? Oh, I was so excited when Heatwave told me I forgot to ask. I hope it's Bumblebee. It's gotta be Optimus Prime. Could be my Uncle Ratchet. Wait, the Ratchet? Mm-hmm. That's important He's information. He's your uncle? Oh. There's lots of bots in my family. Great Aunt Apex, Grandpa Torque Steer, Second Cousin Wrench. Did I ever tell you about the time he used a sprocket spanner on a titanium bolt? <laughs> ah, good times. Let's go meet the new Teach. Hey. Good morning, recruits. I'm guessing by the fact you're early to class, you've heard we have a new teacher starting today. Windblade, RC? Please be Bumblebee. Please be Bumblebee. Not second cousin Wrench. What? Uh, no. It's Grimlock. Whoa. Whoa. Who know? Grimlock. You know, one of B's best friends. Strong, brave, great bot to have your back. I've got his collector card. So, where is he? Are puddles supposed to do that? They're all yours, Grim. Our new teacher's a Dinobot? You didn't mention that part. Yeah, cool, huh? No, not cool. Not cool at all. Hey, recruits, I'm Grimlock. Who's ready to smash some metal? <laughs> My job is to stop the bad guys, especially big, dangerous ones. But, sir, you're huge. I mean, taking on bad guys is no problem for a Dinobot, but what about us? Size isn't the same as strength. I'll show you. Wedge, right? Come here. Ugh. Awesome! See? I used surprise, not size, and a little thing I call style. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Not too bad. You got potential. You hear that? I got potential. Bonus lesson. Save the victory dance for the locker room. Did you see how he slammed me with just his tail? Wham! You weren't the only thing he slammed. Look! I see why Grimlock is a legend, among bots and cleaning staff. He's so funny. Look! He's making everything bounce. <laughs> you! What do you do if you meet an Insecticon in a dark alley? Need more info, huh? Good call. The alley's a dead end. It's a stormy night. What do you do? Psst. Hoist. You still with us? More of a claws on bot, huh? Come on down. Okay, I'll be the Insecticon. Ready? I'm coming at you. <laughs> sure. Sometimes running away is a good plan. Lesson two, vehicle mode chase. Here are the rules. Catch me if you can. Take one and pass them down. Decals? Noble. Even better, bubble shields. Just press it to turn it on. Whoa! Remember, extra points for style. You ready? Bad guy getting away over here. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah. You're supposed to catch me, not each other. To be one step ahead, you gotta think ahead. Am I gonna go this way or this way? Or that way? <laughs> Best lesson ever. Nice first day, Grimlock. Gotta admit, I was nervous. Me, a teacher? But they're good kids. Uh, I think one of them cut class. Yay high, blue. Doesn't talk much. Hoist? Strange. He's never missed a lesson before. I'll see if I can get to the bottom of it. 
Hey, Hoist. Missed you in class and... Stop! Don't get any closer. I have... Rust Rot. Oh, no! What's Rust Rot? It's a super contagious and completely not made up Cybertronian disease. That does not sound good or look good. I can't come to class. Maybe ever again. Get back, Chief. Hoist has rust rot. I see. <gasps> Looks like a miracle cure. You're good to go to class, Hoist. Unless there's some other reason you think you shouldn't. <gasps> Hoist! Glad you're back. You're just in time for my stories about the baddest, scariest dino bots ever. Like Underbite. That is one mean chopperzoid. He was all... Rah! 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 And Scout. He was more of a henchbot. Like smashing stuff. But what dino bot doesn't? Hoist? Where'd he go now? Hoist? Hey! I, I, I was just... Looking for uh, a, a tape measure, in case I need to measure something. Like the tape measure you're holding in your hand? Um, yeah. Just like this one. <laughs> Thanks, Maddox. Hmm. Okay, something is seriously wrong with Hoist, and it's up to us to figure out what. <sighs> oh. How'd that happen? Better get some more supplies. Hoist. What's going on? We're kind of worried about you. Uh, and don't say it's rust rod or a lost tape measure. We mean what's really wrong. <sighs> I'm scared of Dinobots, okay? Like, really scared. Even of the little ones. And Grimlock's a really, really big one. But Coach Grimlock is cool. So? Dinobots like to squish whole buildings and use them as slippers. You've seen that? Well. No, but a friend of a construction bot's cousin did. I believe Coach Grimlock is only a threat to gym equipment. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew you'd laugh at me. That's why I didn't say anything. We're not laughing at you, Hoist. Yeah, we're all scared of something. Right. Sometimes I imagine going into a test unprepared. It sends a chill through my servos. And I'm scared of losing. Seriously, terrified. Not a fan of heights. Spaghetti. Huh? huh? It's like a million tiny snakes with tomatoes. <gasps> wow. I thought it was just me who got scared of stuff. You're not alone. And even better, we're going to help you get over your Dinobot fear. Hmm. Try to imagine whale song. That's relaxing. All you have to remember is don't take a Dinobot by surprise. They smash first, ask questions later. Ugh. Not helping, medics. Okay, let's work on intimidating the enemy. Start with your deepest, angriest roar. Huh? It's a cat. Get it off! Get it off! A Dinobot afraid of an eensy weensy kitty cat? I guess everyone really is scared of something. We better help him. Here, kitty kitty. Aw, did the big bot scare you? Why didn't you do that before? Uh, catch a cat? No, I mean, that was some fast thinking rescue work against a fierce beast. <laughs> but he's itty bitty and, and you're huge. He's cute and you're terrifying. Oops, did I say that out loud? Mr. Petty Paws, out for another adventure, huh? Let's go home. Ugh, cats. Fluffy balls of horror. What? Fear's nothing to be ashamed about. Being brave means being scared and doing the right thing anyway, like Hoist did. He thinks I'm scary, but he still came to class and helped this terrifying dino out. I got pretty big teeth, don't I? Or is it the tail? It's the tail, isn't it? It's both and the overall <laughs> bigness. But thanks to my friend's help, nothing I can't work through.
I, for one, am excited to examine the flora of the island to see if any of it has unknown healing properties. Well, I hope y'all have fun. You're not coming. Heat Wave gave me permission to stay here. I wouldn't be caught within 10 feet of a real dinosaur. Whoa! Ah! Get ready to rumble, recruits. It's ground bridge time. Hoist, Heat Wave says you're not coming with us. No, sir. I wish I was, but with the rest of the teachers gone today, somebody has to watch the academy. Right. Well, if anything happens, use the emergency radio. We'll come right back. Let's go, team. That T-Rex better be ready to eat my dust. Yeah, my money's on the lizard. You should come with us, Hoist. It might help you get over your fear of dinosaurs. World's right. There is medical proof that facing your fear can be helpful. Not facing your fears makes sense, too. I mean, I'm also afraid of being eaten by scraplets, but you wouldn't tell me to try that, right? Hmm. You do have a point. Welcome to Dino Island. Look at this place. What fascinating creatures. Uh, what was that? Whoa. It looks like a prehistoric rhino. Triceratops. What good guess. Uh, Should we be running? Don't worry, he's an herbivore. Meaning? Meaning, he only eats plants. Uh oh. Whoa! Looks like the bridge brought some of the island back with us. You never left the island, Professor. The ground bridge portal disappeared. I gotta reopen it. That's a double uh oh. It's no good. We need Hoist to open the bridge from his side. With his fear of dinosaurs, I don't think he'll be much help, sir. We still have to warn him. I'll call him on the radio. You recruit, start thinking of another way off this rock. Okay, medics, let's see if this theory of yours works. Face your fears, face your fears, face your... <laughs> your fears? How? I'm afraid to. Hmm. That's weird. How did a sim get all the way out here? Grimlock to base. Come in, Hoist. Grimlock to base. Go ahead, sir. Hoist, listen carefully. There's a dinosaur loose in the academy. I know. The sim must be glitching. Wait. How did you know? Are you guys back? No, Hoist. It's a real dinosaur. It came through the ground bridge. Wait, what What came through what? Don't worry. It only eats veggies. <sighs> ah! Ah! Hoist, did I lose you? So, that's not good. Think, Whirl. What could make an herbivore act so aggressively? Bad day, tummy ache, or... <gasps> Aha! Medics, look at this. It's like one of these footprints has an extra toe. Hmm, that is curious. Nature puzzles will have to wait. We need to get back to Hoist now. World could fly some of us back. But not everyone, unless Hotshot helps in jet mode. Oh, sorry, World. I already chose to be an ATV. My multicog won't let me be a jet for 24 hours. That's 24 hours too late. Well, if there's no way Grimlock can float, we'll have to drive back. Underwater. Huh? I know how to make him float. Ta-da! Trees? Not trees. Skis. Water skis. Great idea, Wedge. Uh, says who?
Stay behind. Take care of the academy. Great idea, Hoist. How's it going up there, Whirl? Good. I think I see the academy. Ah, humans actually do this for fun? Ah! Let's just hope Hoist is doing better than Grimlock is. There's a good dinosaur. You stay on your side of the academy, and I'll stay on mine. Oof, Professor Heatwave is not gonna like that. What? I know, I know, it's trashing the academy, but what am I supposed to do about it? The team would say trap it. That's because they're not afraid of dinosaurs. Oh, come on, Chuck. Even if I did try, how do you catch a huge veggie eater like that? Genius. I'm too scared to get close to that thing, but with the remote control, I won't need to. Go get him, cowboy. Ready to get roped, you prehistoric troublemaker? Yippee Kaye! Yippee Kaye! What do you hear, Whirl? Yeah! Is that Chuck? Yeah! Hoist, yeah! can you hear me? Yes, Professor. You okay? Where's the Triceratops? Staring at me. Did you hear that? It sounds angry. Well, that's what I thought at first, but now I think it sounds hurt. Is it licking its foot? Yeah. How did you know? I saw something in its footprint. I thought it was an extra toe, but now I think it has something stuck in its foot. If that's true, Hoist, you need to examine it. Examine what? The foot. No way! Any other ideas? Anyone? Anything? Sorry, Hoist. Medics is right. You're a rescue bot recruit. That means you help, no matter what needs helping. Uh, do I have to remind you I'm terrified of dinosaurs? Never said it was easy. <sighs> Still open to a plan B if anyone's got one. You can do this. Nice dinosaur. Let me just take a look at this foot. I won't hurt you. <laughs> what am I saying? Don't you hurt me. Oh, that rock looks sharp. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I... <laughs> Hoist! Are you okay? I'm fine. Did you know that without a sharp rock in their foot, herbivores are very nice for dinosaurs? Ha! You don't say. Not that I'm saying you're not nice too, sir. And I was thinking, maybe we could keep him as our rescue mascot. Tell you what, ask Heatwave. I'm pretty sure that's a no. Wow, Hoist. Looks like you're finally over your fear. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> or not. Hey, wait up! This is the T-Rex. Don't you want to race? <laughs> It's interesting. It's awesome. It's what, exactly? An Earth robot. Walk, sit, roll over, do absolutely nothing. It seemed to understand that. Good robot. I don't know. It might be a spy sent to infiltrate our base. Quick, no one say anything important. Consider it done. Well, I've been meaning to get some blaster practice in, so... No, 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 no! <sighs> Recruits, you were looking at Horace Burns. Cody got it as a souvenir from the Mainland Museum. Horace was Cody's ancestor and a town hero. But what does it do? It doesn't do anything. It's art to inspire, to admire, 
to not be used for blaster practice. Ah, art, you say? Yeah, I don't get it. Why don't I take you on a field trip to the museum to see more art? Maybe then it'll make sense. Museum? I better get my police kit ready. I'll need handcuffs, a notebook, a flashlight, some seriously cool shades. Good to go. Whirl, what exactly do you think is going to happen at the museum? A heist, obviously. This field trip's suddenly sounding a lot more interesting. Well, today, the only mission you're going to have is look at art. Bold choice of color, pleasing octagonal shape. I love it! That would be a stop sign. The actual art is at the museum. But we have to wait until it closes before we go in. This is Milford, remember. We can't let humans see us in bot mode. So, is he art? That would be the security guard. But if he's leaving, then it's time for our field trip. Security key courtesy of Police Chief Burns. You can write him a thank you note later. Whoa! Wow. Nice! Wow, humans really love their rocks. And their broken pottery. <laughs> they can't love them that much with an IRXYT alarm. This museum is a heist waiting to happen. I'll pass on your concerns to Chief Burns, Whirl. But in the meantime, maybe you can enjoy the exhibits like Hoist. Uh, it's like the Dinobot of my nightmares. Whoa! Don't worry, Hoist. I think you're safe. It's pretty old. Everything here is. So I'll just put that back, Hotshot. I wonder what the artist was trying to say here. Don't slip. Ah. Ha! The wires on this alarm are sticking out. Almost like they were tampered with. <gasps> and that window is open. Almost like a burglar left it that way to come burgling later. A skylight? That's just saying throw up a grappling hook and heist me. Time to get to work. Yeah, gonna lose the specs. Okay, let's police this museum. Whoa, there is definitely someone in there. Crime scene alert. This is it, Whirl, your first heister. Probably. Oof. <sighs> I'm going for backup. You know, Whirl, you probably shouldn't be running around priceless art. Sorry, Professor, but I think we might have a code 362. Burglary in progress. And possibly a code 598. Improper use of a door on a recruit. I admire your dedication, Whirl. But even Chase takes a night off from police work once in a while. At least, that's the rumor. Heatwave is right. You should relax and observe the excellent art. Like this cone here. <gasps> that's him. Or that's the janitor and there's nothing to see here. Chief Burns must have forgotten the cleaning crew would be here. We just need to be careful not to make too much noise. Ha! Now, can I interest you all in this early Peruvian vase? That's no janitor, and I'm going to prove it. Aha! Putting on gloves? Why, Mr. Janitor? To cover your fingerprints, perhaps? No? Okay, you're just cold. But I'm watching you. Cleaning that cabinet, or cutting the glass with a diamond so you can steal priceless royal rubies? Alrighty, just cleaning. <laughs> Let's see. You are here. That's right. And that means Milford can sleep soundly. Polishing that security camera, or covering up the lens. This detective says yes! And also that you missed a spot. Dusting an exhibit, or... No, he really is dusting. Hmm. Time to look at art, I guess. Huh? Oh, nice one, Whirl. 
Better clean that up. Wait. No water in the bucket? What sort of janitor would leave the floor dusty? A burglar sort of janitor, that's who! I was right! Huh? Perp is heading in a southerly direction towards the main gallery. <gasps> the main gallery? That's where the team is! Come in, bald eagle. The cat is landing. What's that, Whirl? I said, the cat is almost in the nest. Huh? Mr. Pettipaws is here. What nest? Who's bald? I mean, the burglar is coming! Quick, hide! Oh, she just means the janitor is coming and we should hide. <gasps> the janitor is coming! Hide! Hide where? You may have noticed we're quite large. 100% metallic muscle, my friend. Keep calm. We can hide in plain sight if we become the art. Uh, oil painting is not one of my vehicle modes. Good job, medics. You look just like the famous sculpture by Rodin, the thinker. Really? Well, I was thinking, just not about being a sculptor. Everyone, follow his lead. Mona Lisa, nailed it. Girl with the pearl earring. Nailing it and looking good. <gasps> huh? Let's go. Phew, that was close. You can probably lose the earring hoist. Don't worry, I'll put it back. Though it is my color. The important thing is, we all got out. But where's Whirl? Uh-oh. <gasps> the real Horace Burns statue! Team, I know for a fact the janitor is a burglar. I need you to trust me, and I really need your help. You got it, Whirl. What can we do? I need a distraction. Almost got it. Almost got it. Wait, who what? That ghoul! Okay, team. Remember all those rules about staying quiet and stealthy? Forget them. Now that I can do. Yeah! It's diversion time! Loader coming through! Medics, sirens away. <laughs> Okay, Brain, never forget you saw Professor Heatwave doing donuts. Just some crazy drivers. <laughs> Can't a criminal work in peace? Gotcha. Up, up, and away. Up. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Hey, what's happening? Up, up, and away. I'm innocent. Nice job. Go, world. Excellent feet catching. Watch out for those ouchy. Ooh, too late. I'll tell Chief Burns to expect an airmail delivery. Let me go! I've got a whole new appreciation for human art. The yellow really speaks to me. Whirl, in recognition of your fine police work last night, we'd like you to have this. You trusted your instincts and never gave up, even on us. Right, team? Yeah! Wow! Thanks! I'd love to accept this award, but I can't. Huh? I didn't catch that burglar alone. When I needed help, you were there. So this statue should really be for all of us. Welcome to the team, Horace. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow. I must say, Hoist, the Earth Museum is looking decidedly... What's the word? Empty? Immaculate. He means empty. You're right. We've been training so much, this place has kind of taken a back seat. The only thing Whirl and I have added lately is this wooden thing with a ball on the end. Whatever it is, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. No? Well, maybe this will cheer you up. We're going on a field trip! Go a away! Field trip? Here, Chuck, you figure it out. Hey, Professor, are we really going on a field trip? Yeah, Teach, where are we? Must be Cody. He uploaded it for his caller ID. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. What? 
I'll call him back. Thank you. And as for where we're going, it's a surprise. Whoa! This place is beautiful! Team, welcome to one of Earth's most magnificent natural wonders. It's so quiet. And while it looks peaceful, you should still be on guard. Hey, after all our training, we're ready for anything. Any time, any place. Ah! What was that? That was a geyser. This whole area is on top of an old supervolcano, making the water underground heat up. And no doubt making the area prone to earthquakes. It's unlikely, but still your job is to take temperature readings, map the underground vents, and measure seismic activity to make sure the area is safe for humans. We're on it, Professor. But remember, whatever you do, do not disturb the environment. Leave it exactly as you found it. Sure, but why, Professor? Because this place needs looking after world, so people can enjoy it for generations to come. <laughs> now, let's get started. These iron ore deposits are amazing. I had no idea Earth Rock even contained metal. And check this out. There's an entire underground cave network that runs right below our feet. Oh! That was close. Wow. You should totally take a photograph. Of the crater. Kidding. I'll find a way down to the bottom and take a look around. Whoa! Ooh, <sighs> Found a way. Whoa! Cool rock! An even cooler crater! This thing is huge! I wonder if it was the mouth of a volcano. That would explain why the metal in the rock has melted into these beautiful forms. Perfect for our Earth Museum! Slow your roll, Hoist. Remember what Boulder said about not disturbing anything? Maybe... What? What's that, Wedge? My comms are crackling after that fall. Hey, guys, listen up. I found something. I hear you, Hotshot. I'll be right there. Wow. Whoa! Yeah, they're like strange burrowed holes in the rock. Hello? Remarkable. It's almost as though all the metal has been removed. And speaking of metal... Whoa, weird. Who takes a bite out of a road sign? Well, whoever it was, they were sure hungry. Recruits, we have a problem. Only one thing eats through metal like this. Scraplets. Scrap what? Ah! Scraplets. Dangerous critters that eat through metal and which should only exist on Cybertron. We can worry about how they got to Earth later. Right now, we need to find those scraplets and... <gasps> Run! Ah! Hey! Get away from me! That's what I call a bad sign. I don't get it. Why are they chasing us when there's all this metal in the rocks to eat? The scraplets eat all metal, but they prefer living metal. Or more specifically, us! I think they've given up. Great. Where's Boulder? There he is, not far from us. Uh-oh! <laughs> this way! We just have to keep very quiet. Oh. Ah! Recruits, come in, recruits. Where are you? Ah, there you are. into that cave. If I can seal the entrance, you'll be safe. But sir, we can help. You can help by trusting me. Stand back. Well, sir, 
Now what do we do? You hang tight while I call for Heat Wave. Boulder to Heat Wave, do you read me? Boulder to Heat Wave. We should be out there helping. If anyone can stop those scraplets, it's Boulder and Heat Wave. I, I still don't see how those scraplets traveled through space and got all the way to Earth. Unless they came on a meteor. Wait, that crater hoist found! What if it was made when a huge meteor fell to Earth? Uh-oh. I just remembered I, I took a lump of metal from the crater. Huh? I it's gone. And are those bite marks? <gasps> Wait, did you get my message? Where are you? In Griffin Rock, dealing with an ice cream truck that crashed through the barriers. But don't worry, we got your message about the scraplets, and I may have an idea. Hoist to Boulder! Hoist to Boulder! It's no use. We're too far under the rock. And there's more bad news. We're lost. No, oh, this is all my fault. If I'd listened to Boulder, I never would have taken that chunk of metal. And that dangerous little critter wouldn't be in here with us. You're right when you say little critter hoist. Is it me, or does that look smaller than the others? Like it's a baby. Maybe that's why the other scraplets were chasing us. Maybe they're its family. In that case, we have a new mission. Get the scraplet back to his family, and then get the entire swarm safely off planet. Agreed. But as stated, we're lost. My map shows only our position in the valley, but not where we are in the tunnels. Wait, my job was to map the underground cave systems, remember? So if we overlay the two... It shows our exact position in the tunnels! Go hoist! Look, there's another way out of the cave. Let's lead the way. Hey, little buddy. Here, boy. Over here. Ah! Hmm. Heat wave. Not a moment too soon. Those scraplets will be in that cave any minute. What's the plan? This way! Hey, metal munchers! Come and get us! And are you sure they won't eat their way out? The whole back of this truck is a freezer for the ice cream. Lined with fiberglass, not metal. In that case, I'd better let the recruits out of that cave and tell them we got all the scraplets. Look out! Huh? All except one. Professor Boulder! You're okay! I am, Whirl. And so are the Scraplets. Look, he must know his buddies are inside. We think it's his family, actually. Aw, oh, he's kind of cute, really. Isn't he? Uh, can we keep him? Right. It was just an idea. The good news is the Scraplets have been sent back into space in this specially designed pod. The pod's programmed to land on this moon, whose rock contains enough metal to last them a lifetime. They're going to be just fine, I promise. And I promise that on the next field trip, the only souvenirs I'll bring back are photographs. I'm glad to hear it. Not disturbing the environment is the best way to protect the Earth for others to enjoy. And talking of protecting Earth, doesn't that sound like a... 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 <laughs> what? We were so busy, I didn't have time for lunch. One. Now turn left. Ahead of you, there's an anti-gravity loop. Dive through it in three paces. One, two, dive! Awesome, Chuck. Keep walking forward. Make a 76.3 degree rotation in a clockwise manner. Then jump 4.3 feet in the air. Really? Because this doesn't feel right. You're way behind, Hotshot. Trust us. Just go left. No, wait. You turned around. I mean, your other left. Ah! Yo! Yeah! Oh, 
this is so embarrassing. Beaten by a dummy. Well done, Team Rescue Prime. You displayed excellent teamwork skills in today's trust exercise. As for Team Unbeatable Hotshots, I'm sorry to say that your strategy today had some flaws. What do you think went wrong? Well, first off, I never agreed on that team name. I now believe my suggestion of circuit breakers would have been more appropriate. There did seem to be some breakdown in communication. Aw, oh, come on, guys. If you'd given better directions, we would have been unbeatable. My directions contained all the necessary information to succeed if you had simply followed them. Followed them? I couldn't even understand them. And Wedge, it seems, ugh, doesn't know his left from his... This exercise was all about trust. Trust in your fellow bots. Because at the end of the day, you succeed or fail as a team. Quickly, to the briefing room recruits. This rescue is a perfect follow-up to today's lesson. A group of scientists from Griffin Rock have lost contact with their unmanned submersible. They fear its batteries may have died, which means the sub, along with the priceless environmental data it has gathered, is trapped at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, let's... Yes, Whirl. Where will we get a replacement submersible battery on such short notice? Fortunately, Professor Boulder was already working on one that should be suitable. Since the incident with the, um, scrub dubber Hoist and I have been working on a battery pack that never needs replacing. This should do the trick. Thanks, sir. Recruits, your mission is to journey to the seabed, locate the submersible, and install the new battery. Seems straightforward enough. However, you will be going so deep that communication with the surface will be impossible. All right, let's... But how will we contact you if there's an emergency? You will have only your teammates to listen to for advice, and you'll have to trust each other. Understood, sir. We won't let you down. Yes, Hotshot. You may now roll to the rescue. I've input the sub's last known coordinates. This should put us right over her. Okay, guys, hold on to something. Okay, this is lame. Hoist, can I get a tow line? at our intended destination. <sighs> what are you all waiting for? Last one down there is rowing us home. This isn't so bad. We should find the sub easily down here. Well, that'd be great, but the sub isn't here. It's down there. How will we see what we're doing down there? This will make the mission exponentially more difficult. It will be just like the practice mission earlier. We just have to listen to one another down there and we'll be fine. Easy for you to say, your team won. Well, lucky for you, we're all one team now. Maybe if we all use our lights, that'll give us enough visibility. Better than nothing. Good idea, Hoist. If we're going to do this thing, let's get on with it. Don't think of it as high, buddy. Think of it as just going deeper. Uh, exactly how deep is this thing? I'm guessing... very. 5,000 meters and descending. Whoa, look at those jellyfish! They've got lights, too! There are lots of those glowing jellyfish down here. Is it just me, or are they getting bigger? I think they're getting closer. They're not jellyfish. What are they? They're abyssopelagic fish. Shoe fish, go away. They appear to be drawn to the light we are emitting. I think I'll call this one Constance. That one looks like a Cyril. Classic Cyril. Maybe we should turn out our lights and get back to the mission? Wedge is right. Maybe we should keep one light on, just to check where we're going. Okay, fine. This is worse than wearing a blackout visor. At least in training, two of us could still see. 
perhaps we don't need to see where we are going. You think we're just gonna be drawn to the sub? Exactly. If I were to activate my dorsal magnetic chassis, its magnetism will pull me just slightly in the direction of any large sources of metal. We can feel where we're going. Great thinking, medics. Yeah, lead the way. Wow, it's like a whole other world when the lights are off. Okay, recruits, turn 63 degrees clockwise and proceed in a southeasterly direction for 4.1 clicks precisely. I really wish you'd just speak English, medics. Um, I think I'm lost. Maybe I only turned 62 degrees? I was trying to figure out how many steps are in a click. Seriously, team, where have you been? This is no time for sightseeing. Okay, medics, as simply as possible. Where's the sub? By my calculations, it should be right around these rocks. All right, mission accomplished. Let's fit the battery and... Oh, stop! That's a hydrothermal vent. That's superheated water streaming out of there. That's volcanic hot. Melt your servos, boil your circuits hot. Oh, oh. I got this. It's, uh, it's stuck on something. One, two, three. Wait. Okay, Hoist, let's get that battery changed and send it on its way. Well, I can see what damaged their old battery. It's got a spike sticking out of it. I wonder where that came from. Yeah. Good work, Hoist. Hey, guys. Where have the fish gone? I think a more pertinent question is why? I guess now we know where that spike came from. It must be attracted to the sub's light. That's why it attacked it in the first place. Laurel's right, boys. Kill the sub's power. Too late. Here it comes. Hey! Over here! Don't look at the sub. Look at me! Okay, Whirl, I've done it. Now what do we do? The sub has no power and that fish isn't going away. I say we just switch on our lights and run as quick as we can. Not an option. The fish would just follow us and damage the sub all over again. I can direct us back to the ocean platform. I'm not sure, medics. Every time you give directions, you really overcomplicate them. Well, if nobody has a better plan, I say we trust him. We succeed or fail as a team. So let's do this together. She's right. We trust you, medics. Just keep it simple. Hmm. I think I understand. Can you hold it a little higher on your end, Hoist? Sure thing, Wedge. Proceed forward 50 paces. Can you take it a little slower, Hotshot? We're out of step. Sorry, is that better? We're almost there, team. Then it's just a vertical swim, and we're back at the rim of the ravine. All finished! Well done, Hoist. No, well done you, medics. We trusted you, and you didn't let us down. That was great teamwork, guys. All working together. Speaking of teamwork, last one to the raft, Pastor Rose home. 